Hey everybody, my Evercade Alpha Mega Man Edition has arrived. Yeah, this is the box. It is much bigger than I thought it was going to be, actually. It is really big. 16 inches high, so I can't wait to get into this one. And of course, it is fairly big. And this is what it looks like on top. It's got a nice carrying angle if you like to keep the box. And then you get the back side of it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm really excited to jump into this. So I'm going to take it out of the box for now and uh, have some fun with it. All right, let's open this thing up, shall we? It's time to get this bad boy out of his case. I'm excited. Let's pull this out. Video Games Plus. Got it delivered. Switched it to UPS because of the Canadian postal strike, which was great. This is the unboxing. This is what we're getting, which is pretty wild. We get this right away. Tells you how to set up it, set it up, which I really think is cool. We get this thing here, which is a little alpha. Oh, worked that up pretty good. This is going to be the plate you get with it, Strider. You get a final fight once, and they come with a little thing you can tell us, so it's pretty cool. I don't know. I think both of these I'll try from time to time. So it's really cool. Ah, which I really like. You get an actual plug-in with universal adapters. That's really cool. So you're getting like this here and you obviously put North American on it for me. And you get some candy. No, you don't. Do not try that at home. That would suck. You can take off this. Wow, the packing's amazing. And look at this. Look at this, how it sits in there. Oh my. Oh my God, it's heavy. Oh, look at that baby. It's like I just delivered a baby. <laughs> gotta take some stuff off there and gotta unscrew some stuff to get some things off and stuff like that. But man, this is gorgeous. This is so nice. Look at that artwork. It's a little cold right now, so I got because I was waiting outside, but that's it. The Evercade Alpha. All right, I'm gonna get it plugged in cleaned up and uh, play some games. How does that look? Awesome. That's everything you get in the box. I'm so excited. All right, let's turn this bad boy on for the first time. All oh, really cool. That's pretty wild. I love the murky lighting up. The screen is pretty big. Uh, it's pretty cool. I do have a little scratch right here though on the on the glass. So that's interesting. So this is the first boot. I think I'm gonna to have to connect to. Oh, ROM check. That's pretty cool. And this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Again, Evercade Alpha. All right. We're gonna get into it right now. We're gonna see what it's all about. Okay, we're gonna go into English. Looking for Wi-Fi networks and I'll uh, I'll connect to Wi-Fi right now. Loving that music though. Hoy, that's awesome. Alright, now it's time to go through the EULA. One hour later. And you can turn the volume down here. Update available, yes, let's do that. And now we'll wait for the update. Okay, that was fairly quick. Um, but every time I, it reboots, I get like a pop in my speaker. That's kind of interesting. Scratch and a pop. You know, if I get a snack, I got a bowl of Rice Krispies. Oh, sick. This looks so cool. I've seen videos of it. Um, so, like, you know, this is a, you can go to your alpha. Just explore the menu a little bit. No, nope, cartridge. You got your game. This is what I love, right? You get your game in a month, which is on Bad Isabella. Point and click horror comedy. Not for me. Go to your library, I guess I'll have to go. They should have update all here because I have owned all the carts. But we came here for this, right? So you've got Mega Man, the power battle, Mega Man 2, Strider, one of my favorite games. Uh, we got Knight's Sword, one of my, this is the reason I bought it. I gotta be honest with you, this game here, Final Fight, uh, you know, Carrier Wing, not necessarily. Mega Man, like these are some great games. So let's just go through them, shall we? Okay, let's start with uh, Mega Man 2, the power bottles. Man, this screen is, it, the, the video cannot do it justice. How nice this screen is. It is absolutely wonderful. 
and gorgeous. So now the one thing I thought was going to be a problem was going to be the stick would obscure my view of the screen, but my viewing angle is really good. But I mean, if you look down here, it will turn the volume up. I really love it. So I'll push this back a little bit so you can see all the buttons there, but the on off button lights up. We've got cartridge select in there. If you want to put your other arcades, this is the beauty of it, right? The fact that you can put all of your, uh, or all of your arcade uh, games in there, but especially your arcade games, right? Which is awesome. Press start. Press one player, press one player. Where's my one player menu? Okay, let's do this. Power battle. So you got your characters. Got pick Mega Man. Speaker sounds great too so far. The sticks, like, I'm no expert in sticks, but these are competition grade, apparently. So, who am I versing? Cutman. I don't think I've ever played this game. I don't know what I'm doing here, but this place good. The stick feels great. There's zero lag or anything, obviously, on this. Oh, I got a dog right now. Cool. Very cool. That's pretty cool. Took him down pretty good. You want to do some more coins in there? You can do that. Get some more. All right, cool. That's pretty cool. I like that game. All right. So you can go in here. Of course, like if you want to go into the settings and if you want to go, you got your displays, right? You can go down and do Pixel Perfect full screen if you want. Original ratio. You can do subtle scan lines if you want. I'm actually like subtle scan scan line. You can do your bezels if you want. If they have bezels, you can do that. Auto demo mode, which you can turn off, have it there. You know, you can do whatever you want there. I don't know if they added any more things. Blue and gold, obviously, dark, neo, radon. But yeah, there's so much stuff in here. You can go into the secrets menu with every Evercade and open in a secret if you want. So yeah, so far so good, I like this. Let's go into the one I was really looking forward to, Knights of the Round. All right. Buttons feel good, sticks feel good. Everything kind of feels good, right? You got this here. I don't know how it's going to be for long play time. Like, because this is, if you have big hands right here, kind of could dig in a little bit. Like, we'll see what it's like. But and you can pick your guy. And I go with Lancelot. Oh, I used to love playing this game. Such a fun game. Yeah, like scan lines darken it up a little bit, right? But the one thing is like the, no the buttons. This is a arcade game, so the buttons you need the volume loud because the buttons are clicky. So this is loud as it goes, unfortunately, because if you're not used to clicky buttons, this might annoy you a little bit, right? But yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna finish this game like uh, tonight probably. I've finished it so many times now, but gotta finish it again now. Oh, go! This is so cool. I like, I can remember three, four years ago, I said the one thing, if Evercade ever put a, a, a bar top out, like a counter out, 
They had like 10 slots, so I'd be happy. I guess two I'm happy with, but this is great. Hopefully I get the, uh, the... I put the, um, the Street Fighter 1 on my Christmas list. <laughs> Hopefully Santa's good to me this year. Cause you gotta have the matching pair, right? Yeah, it's very cool. This play's great. Okay, air carrier, carrier, A-wing, air wing carrier. Gotta try this one, carrier, air wing. I don't even remember playing this in the arcade, but uh, I'm super excited to try it. Thank God that little scratch is right here and it's not on the screen. That would like annoy the crap out of me. Yeah, you need a volume really loud on this just to, because of the clickiness, right? go with homing missiles, I think. Yeah, definitely gonna go with homing missiles. I hope I chose right there. I don't know if, I don't remember playing this game in the theater, so. In the theater, in the arcade, what am I talking about? That's a Russian jet. This game seems very easy so far. Oh, I hate it when they come from behind like that. It sucks. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. I need to get some fuel. Oh, thank God. I'm in the zone. I am in the zone. How did I avoid that? Oh, I knew it was going to die. <laughs> yeah, so the one thing is the... Um, I hear myself there. The one thing is it does dig into my hand a little bit, so I might have to adjust my position. Oh, I got him. Awesome. Very cool. I like that. Very cool. All right, let's get into Strider. Gotta try it, right? Gotta try all the games. Hopefully, like, I can't get over the screen. The screen is gorgeous looking. It is literally gorgeous. I am loving it. Now, I've only, I, I don't, I remember playing Strider on PlayStation, right? Like, and I did play this in the arcade too. I gotta remember the controls. I love Strider 2. <laughs> Strider 2 feels a little faster in this game. Oh my gosh, that's pretty, it's so, it is a hard game. But yeah, it is, feels beautiful. Like this is, oh my God, this is so much fun. I love the Alpha. It's not going to really replace my XP as my most played system on the Evercade ecosystem, but this could be something that I just have out all the time plugged in for everybody to come and play in the office at any time with some good arcade games in there and stuff like that. Because you can add to the games. I forgot about this game. Like, oh man, that was my own fault. I'm just button mashing right now.
Oh, all right, cool. That's so good. All right, let's try Final Fight. Now, this game I only ever played recently in, in life because I didn't have a Genesis, so. But I fell in love with this game. This game is amazing. I always take this guy because he reminded me of G.I. Joe's. Don't ask me why. He's probably one of the worst characters, but... Oh, that dude's got a maniacal laugh, right? I just like that, like, he was just ripped, right? He looked like a wrestler. That is so cool. Is that a mouse trap or a pizza? Like, he's a pure wrestler, right? Which is awesome. so good and this is all they were meant to be played right on our as well you know if you don't have the you know, original arcade machine hopefully the volume's coming through good for you or maybe too loud i'll have to check oh what's this a knife okay he's going downstairs into the subway Gem. Just stand still at the corner. And the best thing about art, ever okay, when you get tired or you want to go do something else, what this guy. You can just go, see? And then you can exit out like that. So quick and simple. Loving it. All right, time to play uh, Mega Man the Power Battle. This is the last one. I played two first, so we'll get into it. Should be fun to play. Capcom. Capcom. Yeah. Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Oh yeah, this is the first one, yeah. Ice World. Ice Man, I remember this guy. This is so good, look, it's such a good little game. Oh, you got me out. No. Oh, my. Got him. Pretty straightforward fight. I mean, I got hit a lot there, but I shouldn't have. Did okay. I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. You got a new weapon. Ice Slasher. Awesome. I need the Ice Slasher. Ice Slasher. How do I use Ice Slasher? I forget. Oh, cool. I gotta figure this game out. But anyway, there you go. Now, the secret weapon, weapon of this whole device is this. The ability to play any Evercade cartridge in this, especially these. I wouldn't recommend playing the computer collections, the blue collection, or even some of the console collections here because, you know, your, your, your mileage might vary, but the fact that you can just simply 
go and take a look at the cart. You just go down here, lift it up if you want. Put the carts in right there. And that is it. Wow, look at the little dimples it makes on my thing. It's kind of interesting. And there you go. And then go back to the Evercade menu. And you can play Jalco Arcade games if you'd like. And it just shows up there and you can play. So you can play a lot of different games. If you want to play some Astian Axe, you can get in and play it. And have a blast. It is such a cool part about this old device, which I absolutely love. And just like that, you're in playing Astianax. Oh, they missed jump. They put jump on the B button. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, I'm, I should be better at this. Just gotta wait for that to get a beggar hit pat. I, I prefer the uh, super, uh, the NES version of this, to be honest with you. I'm getting mixed up in the... I was so used to jump being on the other button. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And if you get bored of this, you can just quit out and go to a different game. And it plays it perfectly. So, you know, if you want to... This is the Jalco Arcade. And you can put it in, you know, you can sort your title. Eject cart if you want. I don't want to do that. There's Jalco Arcade 1. You can, uh, where's my... You can do that. You can sort... Oh, why is that... Be... Why is that saying eject? Okay, well, it's getting the Jalco. It's not picking up the tank Technos, though. The Technos is in this cart right here. Okay, now it... I didn't have it all the way in, so... So you can go down and choose, like, you know, if I want to play a little Double Dragon 3 or Double Dragon 2 and have some fun playing it, which, <laughs> you know, I still prefer the NES versions of the Double Dragon series, but the arcade ones are okay, too. Why is the volume, like, so bad? Volume's really low on this one. But, yeah, overall pretty cool oh man it plays so fast I forgot how fast the arcade version of Double Dragon 2 is oh my god so yes I've got to play this game. The buttons keep messing me up because they change the button scheme between one and two. Oh my god, the radar on you is so fast. Ah! I know I gotta go that way. But I'm getting killed. So responsive to buttons, though. I love it. This uh, hitbox is horrible on this game. But yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> but you, you know, so, so many good games on that you can just choose from. And right now, there's like. Like 10 arcade collections, two more coming really soon that you can play. So, yeah, I think overall, my initial impressions with this is the Alpha is pretty awesome. I really, really like it. Can't wait to explore it more. Um, is it for everyone? Absolutely not. Um, but I really like it. It's going to sit on my desk and I'm just going to, you know, from time to time, have a, have a good old arcade game and not waste any quarters. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye, everyone.